Act. And we're staying with Parliament and going back to our earlier story on the Speaker directing the fumigation of Parliament House as part of efforts to prevent spread of the coronavirus. He has also directed rearrangements of seats in the chamber so MPs keep enough distance from one another in line with World Health Organization guidelines. <clears throat> should see progress in that regard. You know, in other organizations, honorable members order, this is rather important. Some have stopped work. Some have made very serious arrangements and rearrangements. And we should continue to consider these for Parliament. We can't. Even the matter of the state of emergency, Parliament has to act on it. So it means that no matter the emergency that arises, Parliament must be around to take steps under the Constitution which are demanded to direct this nation and approve of relevant orders. Meanwhile, I notice that the WHO has indicated clearly the distance required between human beings, people, when they sit. When we visited the Flatlands House, we saw clearly that they were adhering and we had to sit far from each other. Our arrangements are not in accordance with that world health order. I'm directing that the, the clerk and the leadership of the house must seriously work on this, such so that at least there should be an interval of one space between us as we are seated now, so that now Or order, there shall be fumigation of this chamber before we we see tomorrow, and also all other arrangements, including the possible use of upstairs, the gallery, and other spaces that the leaders can create within the chamber, should also be considered because these are global directives which we must also think of and adhere to.